Hello, Liu. Welcome to your quick and general reading. This is a timeless money reading for the sign of Liu. So whenever you're watching this, would be the right time. And I hope it will give you the guidance that you're looking for. My name is Shamla Tan and I'm a spiritual teacher and intuitive therapist. If um, you're looking for tarot reading, right? If you want a reading done for yourself or, for, or you want to gift it to someone else, um, you can book a session below. It's done via Zoom. And in my therapy work, I do use the card sometimes as a bridge, you know, from the unconscious to the conscious. So it's a really, really helpful tool as well for therapy work. Okay, nice. And one more. All right, good energies here for you, Leo. Now let's see. Can we have a message from Spirit for Leo through this Oracle deck? And we have here leadership. Leadership. It's time for you to shine and be the leader in your career, in your life, in whatever areas of your life. Okay, Because we have the Queen of Pentacles also. Queen of Pentacles talks about you being like a social butterfly, um, you nurturing that part of yourself, uh, manifesting things and being very confident, building self-confidence. Um, being holding the energies for manifestation. It's a powerful energy, you know, if it's something that you wish to manifest in your life. Um, and because this is a money reading, right? Anything to do with money or the direction you want to take uh, for creation of money or uh, success, right? Plus you have leadership here is pointing in that direction. You have Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is asking you to be very focused on the goals that you have in mind. And to deal with some of the things that uh, allow the past to be the past, right? I mean, traditionally, Ten of Swords represents being stabbed in the back. But I feel for you here, when it comes to money, it's not so much that. It's more about letting go of things of the past, um, you know, whatever loss or painful endings that you experience. It's time for you to take charge, right? Allow the Queen of Pentacles to come in. And to take you into the next phase of growth, development, lead yourself out of the darkness as well. I feel it's good energy, right? Uh, coming into new beginnings as well. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is about great hope. You know, it's very hopeful coming into, you know, this new reality with money. It's very hopeful. There's a lot of movement, fast movement. Maybe some of you are going to get a promotion, uh, others of you are, you know, just going to get money coming in, um, you know, in a fast way. Maybe, I don't know, investment, inheritance, something. Let's see. And we have here four of cups. Magician. Okay. So you're unsure. You're feeling a little bit uncertain about having to move uh, about this thing that is hopeful. Maybe you are feeling uncertain because you are questioning, okay, is this legit or not? <laughs> Maybe a part of you is afraid to trust it. But we have the magician here. The magician is telling us that if you are willing to be focused in, um, you know, uh, improving on your skills, you know, working on your ability, having the willpower, the self-leadership, you know, know that you do have the resource and you have the ability to turn your vision into reality, <clears throat> right? So it's also about learning um, learning to take control over your mindset and not allow the mind to sabotage you because we have the King of Swords reminding you. King of Swords is about integrity, right? King of Swords is reminding you to stay within your moral values, um, to have integrity, to have that focus, and you'll be fine. Look at that. There's going to be public recognition, success, achievement, dying of the old. So there's going to be big changes. I feel these changes has to do with something that um, you're afraid to 
to let go, something of the past. Or maybe it's just feelings of apathy. You just need to let go of that. And no, ah, yes, like letting go of apathy and the lack of self-belief. That's the message coming in strong. You need to let that go. You need to really rein, sort of like reinvent yourself and be like the queen of pentacles. You do have the support that you're looking for. We have the three of cups there. Three of cups is about having a community, friendship, celebration. You do have support. So lean into the support that's given to you, whether it's family, friends, uh, whatever connection that you have, you do you do have the support. So it's important that you lean into that. And page of pentacles, yeah. And stay loyal, stay grounded, stay focused, and you are able to manifest the leadership that you are meant to have, meant to lead. Take time off for yourself if needed. Oh, wow. Look at all this major arcana coming in. Magician, death, justice, hermit, okay? So let the universe play itself out as well. Um, what you need is the support. Be very open to receive the support from your community, from friends, from family. And if you need to be alone, take time off. And then... Balance that with, um, this is about balancing, right? Justice about balancing. Balance that with, um, you know, socializing. Then do what is needed. But an old mindset needs to die. The old mindset may be holding you back from tapping into your creative energies. Uh, and that could also be stopping the flow of money. Okay. Let's see. What else for you? Allowing, yeah, that's important. What else for Leo? Can we have... Okay, let's read this one first. Allowing. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment, so what's needed can come next. Yeah, you have to allow. The universe, you know, usually gives us what we need, but if we don't allow, then it's going to be blocked, it's going to be stuck. Then we don't get what we want because actually we are the ones stopping it right so let's see can we have two more humility allow me divine to always accept the right assistance i welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it see what i mean the universe wants to help you you just need to accept allow yourself to accept right action let everything that wants to go, go, and everything that wants to come, come, right? Yours is about allowing, allowing. Wow. Almost the same message, all three cards here. Leo, very interesting money reading here for you. I feel like your money situation is very tied into leadership, leading a group, leading yourself, um, and bringing an end of a certain mindset. Right, have closure with that certain mindset and start new, okay, with much more focus. I like this. I really like this for you. So, Leo, if this message resonates, appreciate the energy exchange by giving me a like, subscribing to my channel. Do comment. I like to know uh, what's going on for you. I like to know whether this reading is helping you or not. Appreciate you being here. All right, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.